Hey girl, hey, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a video of me sharing my experience with a growing Instagram boutique. Um, I think they've become pretty popular over the holidays and unfortunately my experience with them hasn't been so great and neither is it going great, but um, let's get into the video so I can tell you guys what's going on. The Instagram boutique that I am talking about today is called Shop Pink Plastic and I'm pretty sure that there are quite a few people who are familiar with Shop Pink Plastic. I came across them months ago on Instagram. Actually, no, 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 no. I didn't come across them on Instagram. I originally came across them on Pinterest because I always like to see what outfits they have on Pinterest and I'm like trying to come up with something real quick. So I came across them on Pinterest, which led to me going onto their Instagram and eventually like I found their website, which was in their description. So for a while, I was kind of like iffy about pink plastic because I was like, eh, I don't see a lot of people ordering from here. A lot of people I follow don't really follow them. And then on top of that, I think I went to a YouTube review and I only saw like one YouTube review. I saw this one YouTube review of, um, I think this girl, Big Screens, or I can't remember. Anyway. Um, probably a few months had passed and there was a friend of mine on Facebook, someone that I actually knew, who posted the exact same jumpsuit that I had been looking at that I, that even made me interested in the whole pink plastic thing. So I even asked her questions about it. I was like, hey, what size did you get? How does it fit? Da, 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 da. She gave me some information. She was like, here's where you can find it. So I was like, okay, I, I know this place. I've seen it before. Let me go on here. I, I'm seeing someone that I know who finally ordered from here so it doesn't come off like a scam. So I'll wait a while. I, I wait until about Black Friday to actually order from them. And I placed an order for two items. That's it, just two. It's just two. <laughs> like, how hard is it to send two? <laughs> So I placed the order for two items, um, one of the items being the Amir jumpsuit with the corset which was very popular, I posted a picture of it. And then the other was the Dion plaid skirt, I posted a picture of that as well. But I ordered both of these in extra small um, on Black Friday. On Black Friday, I received an email from them saying, hold on, let me pull up my email because I got the receipts for this. Okay, on Black Friday, I placed the order and I received an email with my order confirmation, my order number, and also a message just saying thanks for shopping from pink shopping at pink plastic of uh, they were just let me know that my tracking number is going to be emailed to me once my payment is processed they also sent the price um which was 88.20 i spent 80 dollars and they sent like my discount information da, da, da. so i'm thinking okay cool like i have my order confirmed everything's going to be all good on the 29th, which I think was Cyber Monday, maybe. No, it was actually that Sunday. The following Sunday, they sent another email to me. It was just an update. And I'll post all of this above so you guys can read it too. But um, they were just thanking me for supporting a small business. They were letting me know that due to COVID, then things were moving a little bit slower for the holidays. Um, and they were letting me know that it was taking about one to 10 days to process and ship orders. Oh, and then they said that they plan on shipping a majority of items out earlier than expected. So at this point, I don't really know what to expect because they're saying that things are slow with COVID, but they're also trying to ship things out fast so i don't know that was confusing um on the on december 2nd 
is when I got an email notification that my order had been shipped. Um, they also sent a tracking number and just everything that, that comes with the email when they send you tracking and let you know that your order has been shipped. So by this time, on December 2nd, I have my tracking number. I have um, things saying that my order was confirmed. So I'm viewing my tracking number like as the week go by because anybody knows like if you order stuff all the time you know like you can't wait for your stuff to get there like you're always just checking it all the time just to see so every time I'm checking my tracking number like it's never moving like the only thing that pops up is even to this day your package is on its way to a USPS facility so that says that the package hasn't even made it to the facility yet like the only thing that was created was a label. Mind you, today, like as I'm making this video, is January 12th. I ordered this on November 27th. So it's like well over a month since I've received my package. So since I didn't receive anything from them, I went ahead and emailed them again. And I'll tell you guys what I sent to them in an email. My first email to them was on... December 23rd I think that's when I kind of realized that all right you know my stuff still hasn't made it to a USPS facility like what's going on so I let them know you know um I'm just emailing you guys to check the status of my order you know I completely understand that you guys review many orders in a day so I was being very very patient with them I'm like I understand what's going on I understand you know COVID XYZ but my label was created on December 2nd. It's now December 23rd and it hasn't moved. By this time they replied. Y'all know how everyone sends that little automated message? I received one of those first. Yeah, I received an automated message from them first and it was just saying that they'll get back with me in like 24 hours. Just be patient, da da da. So I'm like, okay, I can be patient. It's whatever. I think they replied. Yeah, they replied back to me on the 24th. So it was 24 hours, which was okay it was completely cool they sent an email that says hello thanks for the email as you may know usps has announced that they are going through major delays since black friday orders are taking longer than expected usps is in possession of the package they told me that usps had the package and they said that i should suggest uh or that they suggest that i file a claim with usps so they can provide me with more accurate information um, and if the order doesn't scan within one to six business days, then they'll issue a refund or reshipment at your request. Um, and then they apologize and they were just saying that they couldn't predict that the delays would be this severe. So today is January 12th. This was sent on December 23rd. Their excuse was, and I get it, like, yeah, Black Friday is a big time, the holidays is a big time, but it's like, okay, it's been it's going on two months and I don't have anything to show for it and I spent my money so I think I waited six days I did wait six days for sure before I checked back in with them yeah so I ended up waiting a couple of days before I checked back in with them I sent another email to them where I was just saying um, I recently reached out to you guys about an order that was never shipped um, and, I, and with this, I even provided, like, a screenshot of what I was seeing from the USPS tracking. I then got a response from them. Um, of course, it was the automated response, and then they finally responded. Um, they let me know that they were sorry again for the inconvenience. They said that we think it's best, as you requested, for, the, for me to... They said that they think it's best as I requested for them to send, to reship the items back out to me. So they were also saying that the skirts just would not be restocked until Friday and they asked without mind waiting. So this was on January 1st, you know, so I let them know, no, I don't mind waiting. You know, at this point, I just want the items. I was so patient with them, y'all, like. I was not rushing them at all because I understood like how things were going with COVID but at this point I just feel scammed because it's like okay I spent my money you guys are posting on Instagram daily y'all are posting Instagram models and celebrities who have on y'all's clothes but it's like 
why can't y'all get on your job and send me my stuff? Like, at this point, I want my refund and my clothes, but, you know, it's whatever. So, I responded that same day that they emailed back, let them know that it was okay, just send me the items. I can wait. I didn't mind waiting. And then I ended up sending something that Friday, which was this past Friday. So, on January... Sixth, I sent another email just to check in and see what they'd be shipping out the items that day. Um, I also let them know that we talked previously about me having to wait for the items to be restocked and shipped out. So I got another 24 hour message, automated message from them. And I haven't heard back from them since. Um, I think I did send another email right before that, or right after that. Oh yeah, yeah, I did send another email. So I sent another email on Sunday, and I only sent this email on Sunday because I get it that most people don't work on the weekends, but what made me send it on Sunday is that I saw them posting on their social media, so I'm like, let me send them an email. Actually, no, I sent them a DM through social media first, and then I received another automated message about how they can respond about um, orders and order numbers and all that good stuff. So I just went ahead and sent another email and I sent the last email on Sunday just telling them like, hey, are y'all sending my stuff out? I reached out to confirm if y'all were doing it or not, but here I am now, January 12th. No items, um, money spent. I do feel some type of way. I do think it's very, very, very poor customer service, especially at this point when I've been very patient with them. Um, you know, I was I was respectful through email, and it's like now at this point I'm just being ignored. Um, so, crazy thing about it is I went on the Better Business Bureau about them just to see like if they had any reviews and. Here and there, I saw different reviews about people saying that they never got their items, um, never got refunds. So now I'm just, I don't even know what I'm doing. I don't know if I'm playing the waiting game. I don't know. Like, they're not responding to my email. So it's like, what do I do at this point? They didn't respond to my DM on Instagram. So it's like, what do I do? Um, one thing for certain is that I will not order from them anymore. I'm just one person that just, won't be ordering from them again and it's sad because I thought that they had really cute clothes um I was very excited to receive my items I was so excited to the point that I was just like okay I don't mind waiting like it's whatever as long as I get the items but even even now I just feel like as long as I get the items it's cool but I, I would never order from them again I would never wait this long it's like I could see if y'all were in China y'all are in the U.S. like I don't know exactly where y'all are located but it should not take me a month going on two months to receive items that I paid for in November. Like That's insane to me. So the biggest thing I just want to say here is just be careful. I don't know. I've only ever seen one review on YouTube about them. I just wouldn't order from them again. I see reviews of people on their IG page of people saying, oh, it only took a day or two for me to receive my items, but it's like, it's taking me a month or two to receive mine. I don't, I don't like that, so I'm just one person that is just, whose money they won't have. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that there was something you guys learned from it or could take away from it, and I hope to see you guys in my next.